over the years, how have you seen television change from what it was when you first started? Uh, well, when I first now. started, it was, uh, you know, um, it wasn't national as such. So, you know, Melbourne had their own shows, right. like in Melbourne Tonight, and in <gasps> Sydney yeah. they had, you know, their own variety shows, and, and it wasn't till, you know, sometime later in the 70s, I suppose, right. that there was the coax cable, and so Sydney and Melbourne could do things at the same time, and I worked on a show that had Don Lane in Sydney and Graham in Melbourne singing the same song. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty radical at that, yeah, wow. that stage. So what has changed is, you know, technology has changed things, ama you yeah. know, ridiculous amounts. Um, yeah, yeah. But it was, you know, it, it, when I first started it was, you know, I worked at, at GTV9 in Melbourne yeah. and then TCN9 in Sydney was a very different thing. And, right. you know, Sid Melbourne was run separately to, to Sydney. But that's not the case anymore. It's all very Sydney centric now. Yeah, right. Mm. And so, was there so many more shows made? Yes. Because we just have, you know, like get all the yes, American shows. Yes, we used to do. Now. We used to do live shows five nights a week. Yeah. We started at nine thirty in the morning and went through till eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. Had a few drinks on, you know, after the show. Went home, lay down for a few hours, and came back and did it wow. all again. <laughs> Sounds, it sounds so rock and roll there. Oh, it was pretty rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> and so you would do hours from 9 till 11, so there obviously wasn't mm. any, you know, because now you wouldn't be allowed to do that. No, no. And I, there, was, there was a point, a time when I used to have to fill out a, a timesheet. Right. And they had one of those, you know, clickety wickets, yes. you know, teachings. And um, they realised very quickly that I was earning more money in overtime than I was actually Doing in my wage, hours. so they gave me a, <laughs> a slight rise in oh, my wage, wow. and then I didn't have to go clickety click. Mm. Do you reckon that because you to be a producer, you know, because my um, boyfriend is a producer, and he when he gets asked, so what does a producer do? That everything. question drives him nuts. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because it's yes. like everything. Everything which you started yeah. doing when you were so young mm. and forward thinking. Do you mm. think that is what? has contributed to your success and every so much of what you've done? I think I, I think I've got a good um, gut feeling for what what people want to see and what they like and what they're interested in. Yeah, right. Um, I know people want to be entertained and, and they, you know, like to be informed and if they can do this this the two together, Perfect. well and good. Yeah, you know? yeah. So you produce so much live television. Carols by Candlelight, The Logies. Did you work on Australia's Got Talent as well? Yeah, and the one series of that. Right. Yeah. So, so much live television. Has there any been... Oh, hey, hey for 10 years. Hey, hey, of course. Yeah. Is there any times when you've gone, shit, we're not going to pull this off? Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit? Uh, I think I've had a few moments where I was... Had a you know churning in the gut, wondering whether it was all going to sort of come together. Because when it's live, yeah, you've only got that chance. You can't go and edit it and sort of say, "Oh, we'll we'll leave that bit out." Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there was there've been a few times where I've felt quite sort of sick in the stomach about oh it all, my but gosh. you know, no one died, so we were here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>